you need to pressure test your drive. Now this isn't a complicated task, it's something you can do with a drive on the boat or off the boat. This one here, that's in the shop right now, as you can tell, is off the boat because I'm where the boat would be. But let's show you how to pressure test your Alpha 1 so you can find what seals need to be replaced in order to make sure you're not leaking oil in your storage unit, your garage, or into the waters that you ride on. So the first thing you're going to need is a little adapter like this. Now this is meant for testing uh, gas lines, I do believe. And I've just got an adapter with a fitting that will fit into either the um, level port or the drain port of an Alpha 1. I've got the drain plug in and I've got this in the level port. As you can tell, this same technique would also work on an outboard. You just put it in one of the ports because you're not going to have an upper unit on an outboard, right? Um, so basically any drive you can pressure test using this method. So I've got this. You need some sort of a little bike pump. I've got a uh, Mercruiser winterization pump which works perfectly for this because you don't want to put pressure from your air compressor in here because it could be at too high of a PSI and could blow out seals and then you've got more seals to replace. So with our gauge on here and our pump connected, we're just basically going to take and pump this up until we get around somewhere between 10 and 15 PSI. Don't want to go much above 15, A, because we can't read it on the gauge and B, uh, because then we're starting to endanger seals. So I'm going to go up around 13, 14 PSI, and I'm going to make sure that I get it on a nice line that's easy to see. So right on that 14 line, right there. So it's right dead on the 14 line. And now we can go around with a little bit of soapy water, or look, listen, see if this gauge drops over time. Give it like 10 or 15 minutes with 14 PSI or whatever pressure above 10, below 15 that you decide on. Let it sit there for 10 or 15 minutes and observe. Look around the drive. Spray it with some soapy water in around your input shaft here, your um, drive loop monitor there. Uh, you've got seals where the shaft comes out to go into the lower. You've got prop shaft seals. You've got uh, around the shift shaft. There's a lot of seals that could leak. And any one of those could cause you to have an oil leak, which could also cause water intrusion into your drive. And that would be really bad because if your drive fills up with water, because oil is lighter than water, so the oil would float out, the water would go in. If it were to freeze, it could crack and damage your casing. So I can see oil leaking out of the shaft going from the upper into the lower. So that means our shaft right here in the upper that goes down those seals are bad sure enough i can see oil leaking in there let me let me move you down here so that you can see it real quick that is not supposed to be oily that is open that's in the exhaust channel so depending on how the boat is sitting how it's trimmed that could leak out through the end of the prop it could leak out um the front, if it's trimmed all the way up, it might appear to be leaking more out of these shift shaft seals and things up here, but our problem is ultimately back in there. Okay, so we've got our new seal in our shaft here. Um, I also replaced our little check ball over here just because it looked like somebody had attacked it with a wire wheel. But uh, let's put a little pressure into this thing now and see what happens. 14 PSI in there. And then let's take some soapy water and go around all our other potential leak points. Check ball is okay. No bubbles from our input shaft seal. No bubbles from that seal. No bubbles from our shift shaft. I think we're in good shape, guys. All right, well, that's how to pressure test an Alpha 1 upper and lower. So thanks for watching.